Hello church family, this is Pastor Chance and I just want to say praise God for another day of life. Also want to thank God for each and every one of you. As you know, today we are celebrating and sanctifying a fast in our churches. And so we are asking God's guidance and blessing. Um, September 25th through the 26th from 7 p.m. to 7 p.m. Friday evening to Sabbath sundown, we will be sanctifying a fast. Also next month on October the 30th and 31st, also from 7 to 7. Uh, we will be uh, sanctifying a fast. I know that God is doing something and I look forward to what he has in store for us as a family. Hello church family, this is Pastor Chance and I just want to say praise God for another day of life. Also want to thank God for each and every one of you. As you know, today we are celebrating and sanctifying a fast in our churches and so we are asking God's guidance and blessing. Um, September 25th through the 26th from 7 p.m. to 7 p.m. Friday Friday evening to Sabbath sundown, we will be sanctifying a fast also next month on October the 30th and 31st, also from 7 to 7, uh, we will be uh, sanctifying a fast. I know that God is doing something and I look forward to what he has in store for us as a family. We want to keep on pressing on and keep up the momentum. Uh, that we have been seeing God doing in our midst. And I know that God wants to do something for us that we haven't seen in a while, but I want to remind you as to why is it that we are actually uh, going about to seek God in prayer and fasting at this time. One of the reasons, of course, we know in last day events, page 82, it says, Now and onward till the close of time, the people of God should be more earnest, more wide awake, not trusting in their own wisdom, but in the wisdom of their leader. Of course, our leader is God. They should set aside days for fasting and for prayer. Set aside days for fasting and for prayer. And so we know also that we have been talking about this entire month of September. We have been digging into God's word, digging into the spirit of prophecy. And we have been honing in on this particular passage at the beginning of every sermon. A revival of true godliness among us is the greatest and most urgent of all our needs. To seek this should be our first work. Our Heavenly Father is more willing to give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him than our earthly parents to give good gifts to their children. But it is our work by confession, humiliation, repentance, and earnest prayer to fulfill the condition upon which God has promised to grant us His blessings. A revival need be expected only in answer to prayer. And so if we are going to experience God's true revival, not just any revival, but a revival of true godliness, then it must come through prayer. And the work that God has commissioned us to do on our part is a simple task. It does not have to take weeks, months, and years, brothers it, and sisters. We don't have to continue uh, to spend much, so much time um, in this Laodicean state and condition when God has already given us an opportunity, a privilege, and a blessing that if we just seek Him by prayer and confession and humiliation, genuine repentance, God cannot lie. He has pledged His word that He will come and He will visit us. And so I want to say that right now that this damn prayer and fasting is in light of Bible prophecy where Jesus Christ is, as it were, peeling back the curtain of time and giving us a peek into the future so we can understand more than anyone else. We have been privileged. We have been blessed where God has given us light to understand the times in which we are living and in order now to seek Him in a special way for what He is about to bring upon the earth. In this 24 hours, we're going to pray. We, we, we're not going to spend much time in anything else. That's why I'm asking you. No television. No internet. No, let's remove all those distractions. I mean, just for 24 hours. I know we live in this world where we need to. We just need to be connected all the time but stay connected to jesus christ how about reading the word instead of watching the news turn to revelation and you will see news you will read the news the heavenly news that god has instead of the worldly news the nightly news turn to the everlasting the gospel the good news let's read our word 
Let's study and let's actually pray. But we don't want there's so there are so many things to pray for. Have you really considered that if we just listen, if we prayed for all the things that Jesus said to pray for, I mean we would really be in prayer. But all those problems that you've been having in your own life, instead of just saying, God, you know, solve my problem. No, agonize over them. Plead with them. Earnestly seek the Lord about them. This is what I want you to do for this hour of prayer and fasting. 24 hours of seeking God. Let us pray and pray boldly. Let us come to God and let us confess our sins. These are the things that you're doing. We're abstaining from food, not for, as a dietary thing. We're abstaining from food so we can pray. We're abstaining from distraction so we can pray we are standing from everything that will cause us to be drawn away from the lord so we can seek him with all our heart soul and mind and strength let us pray brothers and sisters i know that god will do it if we will do our let me pray for you heavenly father in jesus name i come to you you are god and you are awesome there's none like you I want to thank you so much for this opportunity, this privilege that the church has, where in your great prophetic timetable, Lord, you have allocated uh, that you will set aside your time and your blessings and your grace to fall upon us in the latter rain and so i'm asking you oh god that you may remedy your people myself included that you may help us oh god to do the our part lord the, our part is to pray to seek your face to confess to repent to humble ourselves to seek your face as we have never sought it before to make a decided decision that we will serve the lord Lord, that we will separate from the world that we will not continue like this anymore that we will not even wait for 15 more years so we can change and to be uh, experience revival and reformation no lord if you have shown it to us then we ought to do it help us oh lord to lay aside our pride and to get low very low as we seek for the outpouring of god's holy spirit so we can give this loud cry bless our church Bring about that change. Bring about that transformation. Oh Lord, we are in need of the Holy Spirit. It is our greatest need. And so we know that you have pledged your words and you cannot and will not go back on it. So I'm asking you, oh Lord, help us to focus on the part that we have to play. For we know that when we do our part, it is guaranteed that you will do that which you have promised. This is my humble prayer. May our seeking after you in this day of prayer and fasting not be in vain, Lord. Help us to experience the revival and send the Holy Spirit in abundance to transform our churches. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Revive us, Lord. Fill us with the Love her.
Yeah.